Hi, and uh, welcome to the LB0 Fox India channel. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India. What you see here is the Summer Camp FT230R, also known as the Yesu FT230R, a mobile radio released in 1983 by Yesu. I found this radio in a junk box a while ago, full of dirt and grime, and I figured I'd give it a shot to see if I could get it working. The radio would actually turn on when I got it home, but there was a lot of scratching noises from the volume pot, so I figured I could open it up and clean everything. About half a bottle of isopropanol, a box of Q-tips, and a light head later, the radio both looked and sounded a lot better. The FT230R, as mentioned before, is a 25 watt 2 meter mobile radio released in 1983 under both the Yesu and Summer Camp names. I would guess it was a pretty well featured radio in its day with both an LCD display and memories. It does not have CTCSS tones in its standard configuration, but there was an add on board for CTCSS tones. It does, however, have a 1750 Hz tone for opening repeaters. The lack of CTCSS tones means that for my use, the radio is mostly usable for simplex. Let's hook it up to an outside antenna and see if it works. I'll only be doing simplex. Unfortunately, the only repeater in my area that can be opened with a 1750 Hz tone is 130 kilometers away or 81 Freedom Eagles for your non-metric people. I can barely open this repeater with 50 watts, so I know that 25-ish 40-year-old watts will not be sufficient. Albenul Fox India test. Albenul Fox India test. Albenul Fox India test. En sommerkamp efter 230 er det var Albenul Fox fra India som testet. Albenul Fox India test. Albenul Fox India test. Well, as you can see, the radio works, although not perfectly. Will I continue to be working on it? Well, to be honest, I don't know. I'll probably just give it a good exterior clean to make it look even better, and then put it on a shelf to look good together with my old 2 meter radios. The lack of CTCSS tones means that it unfortunately is not that usable with today's repeaters. So. What is it with these old radios that attract me to them? Well, they remind me of my childhood in the 1980s. They might not be considered usable by today's standards, but they still have a place in both history and in my shack. They are something tangible to hold and remember what was. And they somehow manages to give me a warm feeling inside when I look at them. Thanks to the ones that made it so far, all the way to the end. And please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, 7-3.